Okay, what I have here for you is a, a Sinclair ZX80. Um, this computer would have been around sort of uh, 1980. It's got a very nice uh, logo on the top there, ZX80, and some of the commands that are available on the little sticker there as well. This uh, particular computer, as you can see, is in, uh, I would say, almost uh, mint condition, very good condition anyway. Um, the processor used on this computer would have been the uh, Zilog Z80A. Um, RAM would have been 1K, upgradable of course. Um, display 22 times 32 text, built-in UHF modulator, and uh, basic in ROM, um, which covers uh, pretty much most of it. And uh, I'll just show it you actually working and running a program. So we just call the program up to the screen. You don't have to press enter to do that. Um, we've got a um, movable cursor, which I think is uh, quite nice. And uh, I'll just move that down. You'll see the cursor move down. But um, what happens is um, every time you press the button, the display screen goes off. That's that's uh, totally normal for this computer. We'll just uh, get rid of that at the bottom there, and I'll just type run, OK, to uh, execute the program, just so you can get a closer look. I'll try to steady the camera, because I shake all about it over the place. But, um, just run that program for you now, and you'll see that it's come up... Uh, Premier Computer Systems at the top and it's just counted up basically on the screen just to show that it's actually all up and running a fully working, uh, fully operating Sinclair ZX80 from 1980